In a large forest, two bird hunters are trying to carry out the illegal practice of catching birds, even though they know that in that area it is illegal, they completely ignore the warnings and go on the hunt. When they enter the forest, one of the men starts making too much noise while eating a snack. For them this is something relatively common, but through this, they end up awakening the sleep of the creature that would become their worst nightmare. In a tree with an interior full of furniture and objects made of wood, a woodpecker was sleeping peacefully, but when he heard some strange sounds in the forest, he woke up quickly and went to observe what was happening. When he arrives on the scene, he notices a visit from two hunters, the bird is so fast that it passed by the men without them even noticing its presence. The little bird then decides to have fun with the whole situation, he draws the attention of the hunters who react quickly by pointing their guns in woodpecker's direction. Aiming to hunt eagles, the two men believe that that strange bird could be worth a good reward and so they decide that they will stuff it, with this idea in mind, they start firing several darts with sleeping pills. The woodpecker, on the other hand, finds this a funny way to amuse himself and decides to play along. He dodges all the shots easily, then the bird pretends that he is cornered by the hunters. With this, the two men decide to shoot in the creature's direction, but woodpeckers dodge the darts. Again fooling the hunters, who at that moment are hit by their own shots. The bird then celebrates another one of its amazing feats with its classic laugh. At that moment in the city, far from the trees and streams, a renowned lawyer is celebrating with his work colleagues, yet another case he has won on behalf of the company. However, his great happiness is reduced by the arrival of his boss. The woman tells Lance that his last job, for which he was celebrating, negatively influenced the name of the company, because in an interview, the man offended all the defenders of environmental causes, not caring about the risks this could bring to the image of the law firm. As a result, he receives a letter of resignation. Later, when talking to his girlfriend Vanessa, he is not shaken, stating that he will not give up and intends to start his own company. Lance tells Vanessa that he has an area set aside for construction in a forest, near the Canadian border. There, he wants to build a house, and then sell the property to make good money. His girlfriend is wary of the idea, for she is a city woman and, according to her, needs the comforts that civilization offers. That same night, the two hunters, who earlier confronted the woodpecker, search for more information about this mysterious bird, they discover that the species is endangered and therefore very rare. On the internet they discover that through illicit means, the bird has even been sold for $500,000, with this information, the two become even more anxious to capture the legendary bird. Back in town, Lance and his girlfriend are getting ready to move into their vacation home, but are visited by Linda, his ex-wife, and their son Tommy, whom they are not very close to. Linda says that her father has become very ill and had to be hospitalized, and she is going on a trip to visit him, but she won't be able to take Tommy with her, so she asks Lance to stay with her son at least until she returns. The lawyer refuses the request, stating that he will take a business trip, but Linda doesn't give up and the next day, Tommy ends up going on a trip with his father. Lance then has the idea of bonding with his son, after all, the two have never talked much and have always been very distant from each other. Vanessa does not like the idea of having Tommy by their side one bit, she says that she has never liked children and it would not be now that she would change her thinking. In the forest, the couple begins to make preparations for their temporary camping trip to the site, while Tommy continues not to care. Just amusing himself with his cell phone. The woodpecker who lives nearby spots the arrival of the new tourists and watches them intently from his tree. Just then, the new arrivals are welcomed by forest ranger Samantha. She explains to the couple that some hunters are conducting illegal activities in the area and that if they see anything suspicious, they should inform her immediately. Lance agrees and explains that they will not stay long in that area, as his intention is just to build a house and sell it. Thus, he shows the construction plan, stating that the property will have 470 square meters of pure luxury and comfort. Samantha is concerned about this idea, saying that it could directly affect the natural landscape of the forest. Lance on the other hand, says he doesn't care, after all, the house will be built on the land that was given to him by his grandfather, and Vanessa compliments by saying that there is no way they would live in a place like that. Samantha says that they could build a more modest and compact house, so they wouldn't harm the environment so badly. But the lawyer replies that he is the owner and will do whatever he wants with his property. Hearing this more aggressive response, the ranger says goodbye to everyone and leaves. Meanwhile, Tommy decides to walk around the area, he sits on a bench and observes the landscape, eating his peanuts. The boy begins to make small beats on the table, imitating the music he was listening to with his cell phone, but quickly notices a strange sound coming from the surroundings, every beat he plays is copied by someone else. After this, the woodpecker comes out of a nearby garbage can, he had already noticed the boy's presence and through the beats generated by him, begins to dance in a very excited way. 
The bird quickly smells peanuts and without thinking much, asks the tourist to give him some. Tommy then ignores the warning that was in place not to feed the wild animals. Woodpecker gets some of the peanuts, being happy to eat something totally different than usual. The boy then tries to pet the bird, and although the creature is wary of the idea, he gives in, and says that he has no friendship with the boy and was only letting the boy do that so that he could get more peanuts. Later, Tommy is reunited with his father and Vanessa. They were about to finally enjoy a nice meal, but the piece ends with the arrival of the red bird. Vanessa is startled by the animal's presence, she asks her boyfriend to scare the creature away from there, while Tommy laughs at the whole situation. The bird takes little notice of Lance's threats, completely ignoring him. Woodpecker takes advantage of this and starts eating the cheeses that were on the table. Lance's girlfriend notices this and asks him to do something about it immediately. The lawyer grabs a broom and starts trying to hit the bird, but only manages to destroy the entire table, and in one of his attacks ends up hitting Vanessa right in the face, leaving the woman enraged. As night falls, everyone is asleep except Lance, who is awakened by the pecking sounds of the red bird. The man realizes that Tommy and Vanessa are sleeping and to try to get rid of the annoying noises, he goes to confront the cursed creature directly. The woodpecker is performing pecks in a dance rhythm and is at the same time amused by the sound. Lance on the other hand is unhappy with the disturbance the bird is causing, so the lawyer throws his shoe at the crazy bird. The bird holds the object and throws it back at the man, hitting him full on. The next day, the new entrepreneurs begin construction in the area, with the machines, workers and architects ready to start work, transforming that natural reserve into a large, luxurious mansion. The woodpecker is awakened by the sound of excavators, drills, and various workers who are participating in the construction work. The bird finally understands that the family that was camping on the site are not tourists, but new residents. Moved by the desire to protect the land he lives on, the little bird begins his mission to disrupt the construction work at all costs. He interrupts the operation of one of the machines, generating a work accident, and even hits Vanessa's head with his disgusting excrements in the air. The woman, enraged by the bird's provocation, tries to hit it with a brick. But as she tries to hit the bird, she ends up hitting the window of her own car. While chaos was going on in the forest, Tommy decided to visit the nearest town to enjoy his unexpected vacation. Spotting a musical instrument store, the boy is fascinated by an electric guitar. Immediately, he begins to play some chords, when he hears the sound of the instrument, Jill, a girl who was running the store along with her family, says that the boy has talent and would make a nice price for the boy to buy the instrument. Tommy replies that he has no money, stating that he was just playing for fun. The girl then proposes that she will lend him her guitar for the rest of the summer, on the condition that he joins her band, which is soon to perform at a festival. The boy is enthusiastic and quickly agrees to the proposal. As he leaves the store Tommy is confronted by two bullies, who claim to be the owners of the street, and therefore, the boy is not allowed to be walking in that place. Tommy replies that the street belongs to the government and because of this, it is made public to everyone. The two boys get angry with the boy's answer, taking the guitar from his hands and pushing him. At that moment, the two bullies are enveloped by a kind of tornado, immediately their clothes appear with several holes in them. Woodpecker had just arrived in the area and tells the two boys that nobody would do anything bad to his new friend. To complete his mission, the little bird completely destroys the clothes of the two boys, leaving them to escape with only their underwear. Upon returning to his vacation home, Tommy tells his father everything that happened in town, saying that he was saved by his new friend Woodpecker, who protected him from two bullies. Vanessa, upon hearing this, is furious because she can no longer stand the annoyance of the bizarre bird, but the boy defends his friend saying that he is much more helpful and intelligent than she is. Hearing this, Lance grounded his son. That night, the lawyer is surprised again by the presence of the woodpecker, which is now inside the trailer. Enraged, the man gets out of the car to confront the bird, but the bird, hearing the lawyer's threats and insults, just clowns him and pours countless pinecones over his head. The next day, the construction work continues at full speed, however, the defender of that area leaves no one alone. To everyone's surprise, the bird wreaks havoc on the construction site, interrupting work tasks and machinery operation. The woodpecker spots Lance and Vanessa and says that this time he won't leave out his two new neighbors. The couple then runs to the car to protect themselves from the attack, but what they didn't expect is that the bird is much smarter than they think. The little bird approaches a panel that controls a cement throwing tube. Moving the lever, he positions the end of the tube right on top of the car the couple was in, pouring all the cement into the vehicle. Lance and Vanessa are covered by a large amount of cement, as a result of which the work is interrupted once again by the woodpecker. Later, the lawyer talks to the forester Samantha, he identifies the bird that is causing all the mess on the construction site, and Sam replies that this is impossible, 
because the red-crested woodpecker has been extinct for almost 100 years. The woman doubts very much that it is really that kind of bird, but Lance affirms that it is and asks how he can get rid of this cursed bird. Samantha explains that in the past the natives believed that the woodpecker is the reincarnation of Marconda, the god of chaos and confusion, a mischievous spirit that always haunted the forest. No one was able to put up with him for long, and so the only solution found was to flee the place. She also states that if the existence of the bird in the area is real, the man will not be allowed to do anything that will affect its welfare, otherwise he will pay a $10,000 fine and serve two years in prison. The only solution is for Lance to try to live with the bird, but the man does not agree to this and comes out saying that she has not helped him at all. In the forest, the two hunters interested in the valuable woodpecker continue on their hunt, but when they return to their car, they realize that the tires have been slashed and someone has made a very provocative mess on the truck's windshield. While they were wondering what had happened, the two men hear a giggle and some pecking in the background of the forest. In town, the new band Tommy joined was rehearsing their songs for the festival. Upon hearing the song of his famous jingle, woodpeckers enter the store to accompany the rehearsal, right there, everyone starts singing and playing along with the red bird. The days go by and the woodpecker does not let anyone progress with the work. The bird drills several holes in the wooden ladders, causing numerous accidents among the workers, completely destroys the walls that were being put in place, and finally, throws a beehive in the place as a warning to all the workers. On another day in the trailer, Vanessa was trying to prepare a hot drink, but the little bird appears and puts out the flames on the stove, it quickly leaves the site and awaits the result of its trap. The woman thought that the intensity of the fire was low, as a result of which she released even more gas on the spot. Within seconds, a huge explosion takes place inside the trailer, the car is practically destroyed by flames, while Vanessa had part of her clothes and hair burned off by the accident. That same day, she tells Lance that she can't stand to stay one more second in that place and has decided that she will go to a hotel until the construction work is over, leaving only the lawyer and his son at the construction site. The woodpecker on the other hand says that he did the right thing and ended up performing an act of kindness for Lance's life, claiming that that woman is a burden in his life. That night, Tommy and Lance lie in sleeping bags outdoors, the boy apologizes to his father for what happened to Vanessa, asking him not to be angry with the woodpecker, and the lawyer just accepts the apology and says it's okay. The next day, Lance goes into town to meet with the pest exterminators, they being the same hunters who are after the red bird. The duo are known as the Grimes brothers, they are amazed when the man shows them a picture of the bird that is disturbing the construction of his house. The hunters charge $500 for the service, but are warned by Lance to go to the site only after 10 a.m., because at that time his son would not be there to see the tragic end of the animal. On the day of the hunt, Tommy and his new friends walk through the forest, the group finds several bird feathers on the ground, following this frightening trail, they find a kind of abandoned house. When they enter the place, they realize that there are several equipment for hunting wild animals, including an owl trapped in a cage. As they wonder about the horrors that could occur in that place, everyone is surprised when the hunters arrive. The Grimes brothers question why the youngsters have broken into the house. Already enraged, they throw everyone out and threaten them not to tell anyone what they saw in that house. The group of friends wastes no time, and immediately takes off running. Later, the hunters present their capture plans for Lance, they would use a huge iron cage so that the bird could not escape, an electric containment net, and finally, a dart launcher with a sleeping substance that has a target pursuit feature. And as a way to attract the bird to the site, they will use a puppet of a female woodpecker and peanut butter. The woodpecker in his house, singing and having fun as usual, quickly smells a delicious peanut smell in the air and goes to find out where it is coming from. When he arrives on the scene, he finds not only a pot of peanut butter, but also a female bird. He approaches the puppet to strike up a romantic conversation, while Lance and the hunters observe everything, waiting for the right moment to trigger the cage that will capture him. They trigger the device, but the bird leaves the area that the cage was to fall. The two hunters realizing that the first plan has failed, come out of hiding and fire the tranquilizer darts in the creature's direction. The woodpecker tries to dodge the shots, but realizes that they are chasing him. The little red bird makes several maneuvers in the sky, returning at high speed to where the hunters were. The bird passes by them, and the darts hit the two brothers head on. The bird hasn't forgotten Lance's presence on the scene either. Using the electric net launcher, the creature shoots at the man who is captured and pinned to the ground. The woodpecker finishes his mischief by recording the moment the lawyer was captured by the nets on a camera and goes home with the jar of peanut butter. The next day, Lance decides to do some shopping in town, on the way he meets with the park ranger Samantha. She asks about the woodpecker and says that if the animal is still causing trouble, the lawyer should use a different strategy, such as trying to befriend it. Back in the forest, 
The man places a sock attached to a piece of wood to signal a peace agreement with the woodpecker, in exchange for peanut butter cookies. The little red bird tastes the cookie and is smitten by the sweet taste, he takes the treat and replies that he will think about it. The days go by and during the construction work, Lance always offers a box of cookies to the bird, which only then decides not to get in the way and sometimes even helps with the construction of the house. As time goes by, the house is finally ready to be sold. The day of the town festival finally arrives and the residents are enjoying the attractions and food of the party. Lance meets with Samantha, she asks about the disturbances the woodpecker has been causing, but the man replies that the idea of making peace with the bird was essential and only then could they finish the work. Tommy's group was to be the next to perform at the festival, but one of the members had earlier taken part in a hot dog competition, and was taken ill. With no one to play drums, only Tommy and Jill were left to perform. The duo goes on stage and informs the audience that only the two of them will be performing. They start to play using only the guitar and bass as instruments, and the woodpecker, who was watching the whole situation, decides to help them. The little red bird makes a mini drum set using cans and some pencils for support. With the bird's help, Tommy and Jill feel more confident and give an amazing performance. After the show, Tommy's band receives many compliments and only at the end when he is next to his father and Samantha, he reveals that the woodpecker helped them by playing the drums. The bird approaches his friends and finally meets Samantha, revealing to her that his race was not yet extinct. The little red bird tells everyone that he will find some snacks to eat at the festival, but in fact he went straight to the forest house. The little animal found it amazing all the time he spent with his new friends, after all, he never had anyone by his side to have fun with. As a form of thanks, Woodpecker does an illustration on the wall of the house with the faces of Tommy and Lance together with him, however, when he intended to put his signature on the work, he ended up hitting an electric wire, causing a spark that soon turned into flames. The house quickly goes up in flames and is completely destroyed. The next day, the firemen tell Lance that the fire was caused by some wild animal, perhaps a mouse, a squirrel, or even a small bird. At this point, the lawyer connects the facts and suspects that only one being would be able to cause that fire, so he calls the hunters, again requesting their work. The woodpecker on the other hand feels guilty for the whole situation, but says he didn't want to cause any harm to anyone, however, the Grimes brothers act quickly and with a machine, they cut down the tree where the bird lives. Stunned by the destruction of his home, the bird is hit with an electric taser, and is locked in a cage shortly after. Tommy asks his father not to let those men take the woodpecker, because they would stuff it. Lance ignores his son's request and the little red bird is taken away by the hunters. The boy then goes to the city in search of help to rescue his friend, he convinces Jill and his other friends to join the mission to rescue the woodpecker. The group goes to the Grimes brothers' house and it is not long before they are discovered by one of the criminals. The two hunters are now conducting an illegal auction, managing to sell the legendary bird for $900,000. Meanwhile, Lance is walking through the remnants of his house when he finds the wooden wall on which the woodpecker made the illustration of his family. Observing this, he realizes that the bird had no intention of causing the fire. The lawyer goes to the city in search of Samantha and asks her to help him rescue the woodpecker. Before long the two arrive at the Grimes brothers' house. Lance asks the hunters about the bird, but they answer that they have already released it far away from that place. Samantha on the other hand observes the food packages that were in some places in the forest. The forest ranger pretends to leave with the man, but claims that the Grimes brothers are the same ones responsible for carrying out the illegal hunting practice in the forest. When they enter the house, they realize that both the woodpecker and Tommy and his friends are trapped in cages. One of the men acts out of desperation and punches Lance to stun him, while the other points his gun in Samantha's direction. In this way, the couple ends up trapped by the criminals. The Grimes brothers plan to eliminate the little red bird and then flee to Canada. Lance does not accept the idea of ending the woodpecker's life, so he makes several attempts at the cage and ends up touching the cage in which the bird was locked up. He quickly opens the lid and frees the bird. The little bird then decides to teach the two criminals a good lesson, knocking them unconscious with ease. The town's police arrive on the scene to provide support. The Grimes brothers react upon hearing the sound of sirens. They desperately flee with the vehicle, but the woodpecker is not going to let them off so easily, and so the little bird begins a frantic chase. The criminals arrive at a bridge that borders Canada. They walk to the spot, but are surprised by the bird, which quickly makes several holes in the structure they were standing on, causing them both to fall into the river and be carried away by the current. The hunters reach a coastal area, but the police were already waiting for them at the scene. They say that they would rather go to jail than continue to face that damned bird. The next day, Lance talks to Samantha saying that the insurance will cover the expenses he had with the house fire and so this time he will make a much smaller and compact house, 
just as the woman initially suggested to preserve the environment. The lawyer calls the woodpecker saying he has a surprise for him. When the bird arrives on the scene, the man removes a cloth that was hiding a beautiful new treehouse, he says that this is a way for them to rekindle their friendship. That night, Tommy and Lance were sleeping in their tent, but the little red bird started customizing his new home, and ended up accidentally knocking it down with his pecs, apologizing once again to the new residents for pestering them as usual.